Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot Monthly Horoscope for the month of September. And this is for you coming from Leo, the mighty Leo. And so I'm going to pull the first card and this will have to do, I use Kabbalistic cards because they give me a lot of information through zodiac signs and planetary signs. I feel at home with that. I'm going to pull the first card to talk to you about your first 15 days and this got to do about your job for you coming from Leo. Well, it's a very depressing card. He says if you are looking for a new job, you're going to be very rejected and whatever is offered to you, you're not going to be very happy. So you might as well concentrate on your ongoing job and try to make that better. Okay? Now your ongoing job. Let's see what happens. And again, it's not a very good card. It says you're not going to get what you want, so don't demand anything. And this card also points towards problems of past issues cropping up, maybe past blame coming to you. And it says unexpected difficulties are going to come very fast at you, so you have to concentrate on your job area. You can't expect to take it easy because mistakes made and the blame will be on you. You could very easily lose a job in the first 15 days, so be very careful where the job is concerned. Let me pull a card about your business, if you're a business person. And this is a card where it says, talks to you about your first 15 days in business and things are going to go very, very bad. And whatever you try to do, there's always a complication. And whatever you try to do in your job area or in your business area, especially, there is going to be a very powerful competition against you. So you might as well not waste too much effort in the first 15 days of chasing new jobs. I would put it that way. Okay or chasing new businesses, come to that. Let me pull one card about your general financial situation and it's not good. It says that you may even have to borrow money. So there's a, 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 a card here that shows that you need a lot of help from people. So should you do that? If you have to do, I suppose you will do that. So it's a very depressing first 15 days where job and finances and business is concerned. So don't take any risks. Now I'm going to shuffle these cards and talk to you about your romance areas in the first 15 days for you. Well, it says you can find a new romance. It's a very bright card on that. But it says that the ending will not be very good, so it fizzles out. Could it even fizzle out in the first 15 days for all you know? So tell yourself that you're going to be a person who takes his time and not get into a big rush with a new romance. Find out behind the scenes what's going wrong. So it's a card of warning basically about a new romance that you find. Let's talk of your ongoing romance now with another card. Well, this is a card that you have pulled. And so this card says, financial issues are a big bother with an ongoing romance. And it could be the source of problems that are entangling all situation in an ongoing romance. So the new romance, very shaky if you find one. The ongoing romance, very shaky if you find one. And so what do you do? Well, think twice before you dive into a new romance and work very hard regarding untangling this financial situation. It could be other reasons too that your ongoing romance will have a problem. Basically, it's a problem card. So problems are going to come. Let me pull the next card to talk about your marriage in the first 15 days. And it's a very severe card of warning not to get things wrong. So make sure that you don't do anything seriously wrong in the first 15 days or say seriously wrong because the remedy here is very little and the flare up to problems beyond control is more. So your marriage situation could easily move into an area which is going to be a very unhappy area for you. Depression is seen, arguments are seen. So it's not good at all. Let me pull one card to do with your general family area and see what happens. That includes siblings and parents and all. 
all right, nothing wrong with that. I would say if you need help, go to your parents, go to your siblings, see what how they can help you, whether financially or for advice. So that's come out quite nicely. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky dates. Later on, I will talk to you about your last 15 days. Let me talk to you about your lucky dates for the month of September for you coming from Leo. It's a very bright card, so I'm going to just go straight and say that the 1st, the 10th, the 19th and the 20th are full of delightment for you. And whether it's for love, whether it's for romance, whether to talk to your bosses, whether to go for the business angle, do that on the 1st, 10th, 19th, 20th, you're going to get plenty of reward, it says. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky ages and your lucky ages for the month of September. For you coming from Leo, lucky ages. So let's see what this card says. There's so much green here in this card, so much turquoise here. So what do I do? I'm going to go for, if you happen to be the ages of 20 or 29 or 38 or 47 or 56 or 65 or 74, you're going to be one very, very lucky person whether in the area of love, romance, marriage, whether in the area of job, finances, business, somewhere you're going to score some very high points. So it's a good card for these ages. Now I'm going to talk to you about your health for the whole month of September. What could go wrong for you coming from Leo? All right, let me pull this card. And uh, what does it say? It's a card of action. So I would say that somehow be go slow with your action. Accidents are very possible and the accidents are to your feet, if anywhere else, to your feet area. And so go slow in all your activities. And the other area which I would worry for you, if you're a woman, I'd worry about your area of gynecological areas. I can see the signs of Venus here, so I'm worried about the ovaries and the womb and the breast. And if you're a man, I'd be worried about your prostate gland. So look into these two areas. Let me now shuffle the cards for your last 15 days. And let's talk of your job, how it's going to be in your last 15 days for you coming from Leo. It's a very dark card, I don't like it. And he says, where your job is concerned, you could lose it very quickly, so be very careful. Don't make mistakes that are beyond your control. Try to have teamwork, try to just play safe in the last 15 days where job is concerned. And even if you try for a new job and if you get it, it won't do very well. So either way, you're caught with this card for the last 15 days. Work hard, show your best, at least there may be sympathy for you and you may just hold on to it. Don't go and attempt to ask for more money and for salary and for position, don't. This is the card that I pulled regarding your business. And it's a card that says there's a lot of opposition in the sense of competition against you in this last 15 days in business. And it's going to be money out, not money in. And there's unexpected difficulties coming up in any new businesses that you go with. So better hold on your energies and keep your ongoing business going rather than being adventurous to look for new business. It's very clear what this card says. This card I'm going to pull is for general finances. Like if you went to see your bank manager, would you get something? And the answer is no. I'm sorry to say the card says no. It says that you'll have to do with whatever you have. Any form of expansion, getting help financially is not here. So just get down this whole month, whatever you have job-wise, whatever you have business-wise, just stick to your guns because your general finances are very weak and you're not able to find something very easily. Last 15 days, I'm going to now speak to you about your romance firstly. And the first card that I pulled in the last 15 days for you coming from Leo, it's not a good card. It says your romance has many complications. I'm talking about your ongoing romance. It has many complications and it's very difficult to solve them. And so it, the romance might just slip away from you. 
And if you need to have it, and if you want it very much, you'll have to work very, very hard, it says. So it's all up to you. Somehow the opposites are attacking you, which means that what you expect from your ongoing romance, you won't get. In fact, you will get the opposite, which is the unbad, not the good news. Let's find a card about a new romance that you, you should you get one or not. Well, it says, if you do get one, worry a lot. So don't go hunting for one if you want desperately. But if you find one coming your way, and I'm sure you'll grab it with both arms because a new romance is always a very exciting thing to want to have. But tell yourself that the swords are crossed, which means you'll find one who will be very disagreeable with you. So you're going to find those signals very quickly in the last 15 days. Somebody is very disagreeable and somebody with a very sharp tongue, I might say as well. So there you go. Let me pull a card now about your marriage situation, last 15 days. It's a pretty good card where the marriage is concerned. There is harmony, there is peace. You'll have to work very hard. He says basically to, f to get this right going, but it's very possible. So where your marriage is, go is going, you coming from Leo, you have more control and you'll be able to even get help from your marriage partner for anything. If there's one thing I can single out, I see the sign of Sagittarius here. So I would say financial areas may be a little bit of a problem and you don't want to dominate. These two things I would say. In your marriage area that is. Your general family area. Let me shuffle this once quickly. So romance not very good. Marriage area can be very tricky and let's see general family area which includes your parents and your siblings. Well, it says don't include them. Let me just tell you straight because it's not a good card. So whatever problems you have in romance and in marriage, don't include your siblings, don't include your parents. They're only going to make it worse to cut a long story short. Well, that's the news for you for the month of September. I'm already Skyping. And I'm charging USD 50.50 for a 90-minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven or eight years in detail. All areas of your life, calendar year by calendar year, age by age. And that will be based on your date of birth and your time of birth and looking at your palms. And I'll even face read you while I Skype with you while I'm, or while we do Facebook camera or WhatsApp or whatever. And so you will know your next seven or eight years and how to cope in all areas. And I'll give you plenty of information. I'll give you your personal lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth and palms. And when you have your personal lottery numbers, they are for the rest of your life. And you can every month compare with the programs which I'm writing about for lotteries for the month of September, for example. And if your numbers are very close to the ones I give generally for people in Leo for month of September, then you've got to go all out. And, and hunt for your lotteries to get something or another. And so it's all about early detection of problems and early detection of the good times to come when you come to see me for this 90 minutes. And it's going to cost you USD 50. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, leave me a message on an email and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Until then, thank you and good luck.